we actually made in the image and the likeness of God. We look like him. We function like him. What up, beautiful people? This is your boy, Mundus. I want to welcome you to the Shining Life family. This is a place where we study God's scripture. We put the word to work. And today, I'm back again with another beautiful daily devotional from Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris. This is the number one and the best and the biggest selling devotion in the whole world. And every single day in this channel, we do, we do a Bible study, reviewing this devotional, going deep in the scriptures, searching God's word, to learn it and to put it to work in our lives. So if it's your first time watching, welcome. Make sure you do subscribe, hit the not notification button. You, wanna miss, you don't want to miss a single video. It will bless you tremendously. And watch the video to the end because I want to pray for you. I want to join my faith in a prayer of agreement. Um, no matter what you're going through, to provide answers, to get answers together with our faith joint. So let's get into it. Today's title we're talking about in the likeness of him. And our theme scripture is from the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 24. And New Living Translation says, you must display a new nature. Because you are a new person created in God's likeness, righteous, holy, and true. So this is who you are. He said you must display this new nature because you are a new person now. The minute you got born again, you became a new creature. You're not, it's, it's not a change of mind. It's not, it's not like starting a new diet or starting a new habit. Oh yeah, I'm going to stop doing the bad things I used to do. Now I'm going to do new things. No, this is a change. When you become born again, you actually become a new person. That's what it means to be born again. The first time you were born of your mother, the second time you get born from God's word and your spirit gets born again. Your body might be the same, it's the same, but your spirit is changed. It's a new spirit. It is not the same spirit you had before you get born again. You receive a new spirit. You receive this new nature and it's a nature of God that has the righteousness of God. He said, you're a totally brand new creature. And I'll show you that. And anyway, let's let me read on the first paragraph. Uh, it says in Ephesians. Oops, sorry about it. Uh, let's go back here. In Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 1, we admonish to be imitators of God as his beloved children this is possible because we have his life and nature in us therefore we can walk like him love like him walk in absolute mastery and dominion in the earth as jesus did for as he is so are we in this world wow wow so much to say about it you know there used to be like a, a saying a popular saying that used that people used to say is a it's like when they in predicament or they, they don't know what to do. They'll be like, oh, what would Jesus do? Or what would what would X, Y, Z do? And for a Christian, it is, you can make that statement. Because what would Jesus do? Because you have the life of Jesus. He says, the works that I do, you're going to do greater works than this because I go to my Father. We have his, the very nature and the life of Jesus. We have the very spirit that Jesus had. We have the Holy Ghost. So we can copy God. If you're not a Christian, you cannot copy God because you don't have his nature. You don't have his life. But we have the life of God. He says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Let me show you this. And then we we are like Jesus. Uh, let's see this scripture. So, I was actually reading in First John chapter 4, verse 17. He says, this is how love is made complete among among us so that we we have confidence on the day of judgment in this world we are like jesus did you see that i mean he's talking about love but in the latter bit he says in this world we are like jesus we have his nature we have his spirit if you go to the let's go to the book of second second corinthians Chapter 5. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me turn that around. Second Corinthians chapter 5. Uh, 
chapter in verse 17 let's highlight that it's famous scripture everybody knows should know this scripture he says therefore if anyone is in christ ah, i don't like this new <laughs> this is a different translation let me put a king james version king james second corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 king james he says therefore if any man be in christ he is a new creature that is a perfect definition a new creature he says old things are passed away they are dead all things are dead and behold all things are become new you have a new nature a new spirit the old spirit is dead you have the old human nature the nature that was made after the adam that sinned against god that nature of sin is dead now you have this new nature of god nature created after god in righteousness in holiness this is the nature we have we are just like jesus ah perfect let's keep on reading being born again you are born after the second adam jesus christ you were created after him in righteousness and true holiness in second corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 says if any therefore if any man be in christ he is a new creature this new creature is born anew after the image of god that's in colossians chapter 3 verse 10 thus you are a new person within god nature this is the reason you can imitate christ no matter how much you train a monkey or a chimpanzee to act like a human it can never be human because it doesn't have the human nature to be human you have to be born that way and to walk like a god you have to be born after god and that's who we are we were born after god we have his nature we can use the same words that Jesus used to effect changes in our life. Jesus talked to the storm. We can talk to the storm. He opened blind eyes. We can open blind eyes. We have his nature. Sin and sickness. Jesus is never sick. We should never be sick. We have his very nature. We are not. It's not an imitation, or a copy of, or, or um, a fake copy. No, we are the original imitation of God. Because we have his very nature. So we can imitate him. Um, Pastor Chris says, Recall the seven sons of Sceva who were tempted to copy Paul by casting out devils even though they weren't born again. They didn't have the Christ life in them. The Bible says, And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out out of that house naked and wounded that's acts 19 and 16. you know these are people they saw paul casting out dev devils they were not born again and they thought oh they saw paul using the name of jesus so they were like oh we can use the name of jesus and get results they tried to use his name the devil said we don't know who you are. Let's go read that actually. That's in the book of Acts chapter 19 and verse 16. Let's find that. Acts. The book of Acts chapter 19 verse 16. So. Uh, from, let me start from verse 11 so you can get the whole context and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul so that from his body were brought onto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons and the disease departed from them and evil spirits went out of them you know anything that came into contact with Paul was full of the anointing the evil spirits just went out of them then certain of the vagabond Jews exorcists took upon them to call o to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus huh? to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus I mean they were using the name of the Lord Jesus to cast out the spirit saying we adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preaches and there were seven sons seven sons of one skiver a Jew and the chief chief of the priests which did so and the evil spirit look at what the evil spirit told these people he said the evil spirit answered and said 
Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. But who are you? Oh dear, even the devils did not recognize. So being born again, you're actually a new creature. When you're not born again, you have no authority over devils. You're subject to devils because you are born after the second, the, the, the first Adam who was defeated. But when you're born again, you're superior to any demon. You have the nature of God. The devils are underneath you. You have authority over them. That's why these devils could say, oh, we know Jesus. We know Paul. They were born again. Paul is born again. We know him. And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of their house naked and wounded. That's amazing. That's amazing. This is, this is the power of the name of Jesus and knowing who you are. We were born after him. Only those who are born again have the nature of God, have the right and authority to cast out devils in the name of Jesus. Jesus cast out devils. He gave us the authority to do the same. He said in John 14, 12, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Greater works than this shall he do. In addition, you have to emulate him in your love walk. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 2, it says, And walk in love as Christ has loved us and has given himself has given himself as an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet swelling savor. Express love to those in your world, whether or not you think they deserve it. That's being like a heavenly father. The Bible says that ye may be the children of your father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the just and just. That's in Matthew chapter 5, verse 45. Hallelujah. We, we copy Jesus in everything. In casting out devils. In loving others. The way Jesus loved and, uh, and, and, uh, and received everyone. We can do that. Because we have his love. We have his nature. Awesome. Let's take this prayer together. Just say this after me. Dear Heavenly Father. I thank you. For making me a partaker and participator in the divine nature. My divine nature causes me to act like you, talk like you, to think like you. Your, be your beauty and your compassion are seen and expressed through me. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You can study further in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, Ephesians chapter, 1 verse 5, chapter 5, verse 1, and 1 John 4, 15. Also, you can go through the whole Bible in one year or two years. So pick a plan that works for you. Let me know what, um, what you've learned from today's devotional. What is the Lord ministering to you? How are you going to copy Jesus? You know, make your confession based on what you've learned. How are you going to emulate the master in his love walk? The way he, he dealt, with, dealt with crisis. The way he dealt with issues. Go, go when you read the scriptures. Go look at how Jesus dealt with with with, with uh, pressing situations, how he praised folks, how he loved people. This is how we're gonna do. So, make your confessions in the comment section. L let me know who you are. You know the the devils told this the sons of Skiva that trying to the the ones who are trying to cast out these devils that they were not born again. He told the devils told him, "Who are you? We know Paul. We know Jesus." So make confessions. I want you to write down in the comment section, who, who are you? You are born again. You are a new creature. You are, the, you are made in the image and the likeness of God. As he is, so are you in this world. So, and I want to pray for you. If you're not born again, <laughs> this is your moment to receive salvation so that you can become like Jesus. So that you can you can you can have authority over devils over the powers of darkness, because Jesus came and died on a cross for you. So it's a gift of salvation, and all you have to do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of your life. He died for you and God raised him from the dead. 
So let me lead you through this prayer of salvation. Say this after me. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah forevermore. So congratulations, you're born again. All you have to do, make sure you subscribe to this channel because you want to learn God's word and build your faith strong and just watch your life change. And I want to pray for everyone else that the hand of blessing will be upon you. That you walk in the blessings of God. You walk in the knowledge and understanding of who you are. Whatever you do will succeed and prosper. You are a champion for all time. The hand of blessings of God is upon you. You are victorious in all that you do. Favor upon you. Favor upon your business. Favor upon your family. Favor upon your work and your job. You are favored of God. God's favored one. Good is turned towards you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Glory be to God. It's been your boy Mundus. Until tomorrow, be victorious and prosperous in all you do. God bless you.